Here is the aerial view of the entire area that needs to be regenerated. And we're zooming in on the hill paddock and you can see the difference between when I first started back in December 2020 and I still had 14 horses on the property and then December a year later after we have had two summers of rain it's a ginormous weed pit and uh, it's incredible to see how well Mother Nature covers the ground as long as she's had rain. So in December 2020 we hadn't had any decent summer rain for four summers. So that kind of classifies as a drought for us. Um, and this is just you being shown around the property. So that's my road access down when it rains there is no access with not even four-wheel drive or a tractor it is foot access only and then we move down that road so you can see what it's like in this natural little valley area so we have three runoff gullies going into this area you can see at the bottom is the silt pond that collects everything. That was our dam, but it's just filled up over the years. And then, yeah, a year later after the rain. Mother Nature's doing a pretty good job, I have to say, even with the grass. And this is my sacrificial paddock as well, I should, should uh, let you know. My horses are in here a lot of the year because there's not really much that can, <laughs> much more that can get degraded. There you go, there's the better view, close-up view of the silt pond. And then that's a major gully area running from 120 metres above sea level. That's the ridge at the back. And then this one runs off the neighbour's property. And then as you can see, the silt pond is now just all filled in. Lots of burrweed and amaranthus, billy goat, devil's fig. Um, but nicely filled in, really. There was a lot of erosion, as you can imagine, from it being so bare. And now my plan is to keep this as, as grazing as best I can because I can maintain this little valley area. But this slope is probably one in one, I would say, one meter up, one meter in. And I am planning on planting a leptospermum plantation with, I'm hoping, some lemon myrtle. Because apparently that honey, not only is it medicinal, manuka honey, but it is extremely tasty. Um, knowing when these, when the, the difference in the flowering of the leptospermum and the lemon myrtle takes place, it's very similar. So it's in summer. So leptospermum first and then the lemon myrtle flowers. So there you go. That's the hill paddock regenerative plan. And I'll probably do a little bit of fencing as well. So my horses have still got an area to graze. Um, but just keep them off that plantation area and I honestly have no idea how I'm going to actually get the trees in with all of the weeds that are there at the moment uh, it's going to be really physical manual labour but where there's a will there's always a way